Well, hello, handsome. What it be? What it do? My name's Theo. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. I reckon we're just going to kick it for a while, bang open some boxes, check out some bots, you know the deal. But yes, a couple of uh, little updates for you. I've just put out a new video on um, Godzilla from SH Monster Arts, which is like really not my usual kind of thing, but I think it turned out all right. So I've got to say big thanks again to Ed Perry on that one for sorting me out with the figure and then helping me do my homework about it. So please do check it out and I hope you enjoy it. And also, I've got some merch on the go. Hey. Yeah, I've just started up a Teespring store. I don't know. I thought I'd give it a go. I've got a few t-shirts on there and some coffee cups and that. I've just got the three or four designs up at the moment, but I'm going to be doing some more in the future. But if you fancy taking a look, you can rip the few crew on the streets or just in your own kitchen. I don't know. Link's down there. See how you feel. And with that, shall we get the flip on with it? Box 55, 1, Hadley Street, Nottingham, NG1, might be a United Kingdom. Right, nice weird little selection today. We've got sort of a longy flatty, a little squishy jiffy bag, an almost cube. But I think we'll mix it up a little bit and start with a big one. Oh my god, he's lost it. He's a madman. He wants lock it up. I'm kind of dreading doing this video just because I don't like doing like the promotion thing. You got to do it, but I hate it. But we're off now. This is good. We're clear. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Is this? Ah! <laughs> Beast Wars DVDs, finally! Finally, I can get caught up on this. So what the flip, we got like season one and then the same thing, but in the shrink wrap. Okay, Beast Wars prequel comic. This is from the Collector's Club. It's about time I got caught up on Beast Wars. I've still, I've seen like four episodes ever. Oh, there's no discs in here. All right. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is this, am I being trolled? All right, so I've got empty Beast Wars cases. I'm gonna pop the shrink wrap off this one just in case. Oh yes, actual discs. Okay, season one is intact. This is good. Hmm, a bit weird that. But the night is young, we'll see what else we got. Here we go, see, discs right away. Oh, it's a, someone's done me a mixed disc, okay. Gravity kills, wow, all right, that's a deep cut. Birthday Massacre, Cold, Fear Factory, Apocalyptica, In Flames, All That Remains, all right then. Okay, inlaid message. Brother Few, I hope you dig this random mix of techno industrial, synth, black metal, grunge, alternative, new metal. Keep up the good work with your vids, collecting photography, and all the awesome, pun intended, things you do. What's the pun there? From Matt D. Oh, thanks, mate. You might like some of this. Debate me, bro. You'll get no argument from me there. I think we're good. Is that Megatron? That could just be a still from a Lordy video. I recognize that font. Okay, good start. Let's see what else we have. I see a Skywarp. This is a RAD Combiner Force Skywarp, I think. God, he's so cool. He's just got such a lamb. He's so styling. That is a nice storage bag. So this is beginning to ring bells. I think this is from a chap called Matthew Dacus, or as I call him, Tripre. We have a couple of fellas. Uh, hard shell, I think, from Beast Hunters. Beast Hunter collection is rocketing off at the moment. This is great. I love his um, giant ass face mandibles. Pretty sure that's hard shell, but I'm ready to be corrected. This is uh, pretty sure Cybertron Recluse. Recluse, which is like one of my favorite Transformer names because it sounds totally badass, but it's actually just a really nerdy pun. But he is a fairly good lizard boy. He's got like both his beast legs just hanging off his thighs. Such a messy bitch. Uh, got a big in here. Uh, ooh, cool. I see wings, I see purples. He's got shotguns dropping off. This, oh, and another. I don't know what this is called or anything, but it's clearly some kind of fairly nice 3P mind wipe. Roughly sort of ultra size, but look at these wings, man. God, this is sizzling, I love it. Sort of scorpionucky colored legs. Nasty slicey claws, look at this. Look at this face, he's got like a Lego Blacktron faux light piping thing on the go. Sort of stylized Transylvanian shotguns with like almost bat wings. Never really pictured mind wipe with shotguns. Kinda like it though, it's got a bit of a uh, Dust Till Dawn vibe. I'm into it. I've no idea who this is, but it's very cool. That's what I'm talking about. I'm fired. Anyway, we have a uh, something golden. I'm guessing this is some manner of black arachnia. Nope. Incorrect. Uh, not sure who this is. Feels kind of like... Who's that geezer that, um, they did a repaint of Masterpiece Cheetor? Shadow guy or... I, I don't know. <laughs> is this him? Is this the G1 him? Well, like, not G1, but... Can we go with like B1 or something? Cause G1 is so snappy, but Beast Wars, you gotta go, oh, it's the one from the original Beast Wars. And that's too many syllables. Can we just go B1 for that? I think that'll work. I don't know. Either way, it's got sort of a uh, trans metal -y Beast machines -y vibe. Pretty nice sort of semi-cyborg baddie Cheetor. I don't know, Yeetor? <laughs> Oh boy, 
I'm going to hell. Right, uh, this has the air of a knockoff about it. You can just tell sometimes. Yeah, this it weighs nothing. It's got generic black gold sword gun thing. And uh, yeah, terrible. Oh no, what the flipping heck is this? <laughs> It's like a mishmash of every Dinobot. Age of Extinction, Grimlock legs, swoop wings, and Transmetal 2, <laughs> Megatron neck, and just Optimus Prime's face. That's what we like. The flimsiest, ropiest garbage. I love it. Full marks. Where the hell would you find that? It's like a bag of little lads we have. Um, that is Barricade. I'm pretty sure Age of Extinction or Last Night Legion's Barricade. It's the same mold as the Beast Hunter smokescreen. They're piling up. I think I've got all of these now. <laughs> like I've now got Prowl, smokescreen, Barricade. Is, is there a Blue Streak one? Probably not, right? Blue Streak very rarely seems to make it. Oh, <laughs> These? These are Mackie D's, aren't they? Oh my god, I recognize this one, the pink milkshake dino. Hashtag milkshook. We have an ice cream. I wonder if the ice cream machine's working. Oh god, that can't be it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Terrible ice cream hatchling. It's kind of sweet, like a little squirtle boy. Man, bot bots are all right, aren't they? This, this puts into perspective that bot bots are actually quite good. And this dates it. This is like one of those old polystyrene boxes. They don't do those anymore, do they? Oh God, he's like a little crocodile. Looks like one of the family ness. There you go. I am polystyrene carton and family ness years old. Oh, G1 bot bots, McD1. And it looks like we're in Sweetieville for the foreseeable. Sour raisin snacks. So Sweetie's made out of raisins. Raisins. Ugh, I'm good. I can't deal with raisins. Call me a baby. I just, I don't like raisins. They're one of the things I don't enjoy. Sorry. Oh, a Snickers. Dense American Snickers. And a Milky Way, like a Skywarp Milky Way. Dark chocolate, golden caramel and vanilla nougat. Three Musketeers. I've heard about these. We don't get these here, so you hear about them on TV and that, but I've, I've never known what it is. This looks like a, like an astronaut meal in the silver wrapping and the plastic. Crunch from the Mighty Orbots, like a Roadbuster Milky Way. M&M's, like a mega bag of M&M's. I tried some American M&M's a little while ago, and they're so um, sort of starchy. Like, kind of nice in a horrible way, but they make the ones that we have here feel like the Diet Coke version. <laughs> Okay, we have some paperwork. This is a lot of words, good Christ. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read this in my own time, but there's a little bit here. Read this in your old English accent, okay. Phew, after 10 years of being a fan, I can finally put together a box of good stuff to send to you. It's been awesome following you, Vince, from the grainy old school cameras to the new tech. From you packing house a few times, yeah, don't, let's not talk about that. I'm a proud Patreon supporter, Whoa! and TF addict since 1993, fellow metalhead and fan. I appreciate you, Dave, Ben, Brent, and the other Brits holding down the fandom four across the pond. Brent's from Florida. Please send a shout out to my boys at TF Addicts. Clint C. Spray McFadden, I know him. Jeff Clayton and customs guru Larry, Mr. Plastic Robot Fagan, that sounds familiar. Yes, big love boys, nice one. And lastly, there's a little packet of photos. All right then. Whoa, that's a lot. Megatron knighting the other Megatron. A couple of tooled up light pipe dropped and I. Uh, Rampage, it says this is a custom Rampage by Mr. Plastic Robot. The Optimal Optimus with some lightning on the go. These are pretty nice, man. They got like a very specific mood, sort of future noir. I don't know. Men's flair. Cheeky dance party, why not? And like a hundred others. This is seriously a lot of stuff. So I think you can see all these on DeviantArt at uh, Hollow Matte Inc. But yeah, man, cheers for sending these over and uh, letting me into your world a little bit. I don't get the empty DVD box there. I'm not mad but I don't get it. Yeah, thank you, mate. That was really cool. Cheers to Matthew Dacus and everyone at TF Addicts. All right, we're into it now. Let's do another one. So here is a cardboard box that has got some tape on it. Shall we remedy that? In other news, I did figure out how to watch the uh, the DVDs and that, uh, that Chinese one I got the other day because I found out about VLC Media Player. But also, can I show you this actually? Because I was doing the Godzilla video, I was reconnecting with some of the old movies. I bought these like literally 10 years ago and just kind of forgot about them. But rewatching these after a full decade was like a little time capsule because like with transformers and everything there's no nostalgia there anymore it's just like a constant thing that i'm always on and it's the same with like music and video games and that those are always kind of still right there but re-watching these it just sort of brought back a little bit of who i was back then and you know how i felt about stuff and what i wanted to do you know i can't say things have gone perfectly but i feel like i'm doing all right and i don't know if there's a conclusion to that but it just made me feel some type of way about life and stuff hey, vague thoughts i don't know just stream of consciousness garbage who cares anyway let's find out what's in the tapey box. Alrighty, Theo, how are you, bud? 
All right, thanks. Big fan of the channel, thought I would send you a couple of these terrible slash amazing bots as a thank you for being the Mutz Nuts. That's what they call me, few dogs, reproductive organs, Adams. Take it easy, Jeff Solo Toys. Cool name. Oh, thank you, Jeff. All right, let's see what we got. What the? Whoa, look at this. This is like an old placemat. From the distant planet Zabajan came the evil Decepticon. And so on. General 1985 marketing blurb. Look at this though, we got friggin' Soundwave and Bumblebee, Buzzsaw and Laserbeak. This is lush, man. It's covered in scratches. You can tell somebody ate a lot of spaghetti hoops off of this. Oh, warrior robots in disguise, no less. Not just boring construction robots, granddad. Does it get more iconic than Soundwave's box art? It's so perfect. I feel like it's just the definitive Transformers image. Everyone loves Soundwave, right? Cool, what a find. Da -na 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 -na. Um, what the heck? That's Bosk. That is Bosk's head on like a little huffer body? What the hell? There's some kind of mechanism on the go here. It's gonna be doing some kind of automorph. It's gonna take me finger off. No disintegrations. <laughs> Come on! Little Boba Fett giant head buggy. Like, this one at least kind of works. It looks like he's in the little race car, but this is just, just a truck with Bosk's head. I'm all right with it. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> oh, that sucks! Come on! He's kind of got arms there, but they're not doing anything. And his head's not even on right. And Boba, come on, mate. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. One of these is all right, and the other is very much not. These have got to be knockoffs. What the heck? Oh, yeah, we got some alt modes. Whee, brilliant, I love these. We got Starscream and uh, a third Skywarp. You can just about see at the top of here, I've got one and another, and he could go in the middle. Whee. Ultra Magnus. Come on, oh, there he is. Sort of Transformers primey looking body. Yeah, it's, it's a tricky one to pull off as a single slab, isn't it, Ultra Magnus? I love his head. He just has the best head design. Of the big cool cop shades and the pipes and the color. It's just, I'm, I'm all over it. And a cheeky prool. Boom. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you're supposed to be good at flipping, aren't you? That reminds me a lot of his Action Master. Do you see it? It's, it's kind of more Action Master than it is like actual Prowl. Maybe not completely, but do you see what I mean though? Oh, he's so droopy, this guy. <laughs> oh, nice one, Jeff. So we got Alt Modes, Prowl, Skywarp, Starscream and Magnus, Auto Changer, Boba Fett, and a completely hopeless Bosk. That is rubbish. So please do check out Jeff Solo Toys on YouTube. Seems like a good lad. Okay, let's bang right the hell on, shall we? Got a little QB one. Uh, it looks like it's from from Jay Sterling. Well, thank God for you. Phew, please find enclosed some Transformers for your fan collection. It says that with... <laughs> thank you for your fab videos from James. Nice one, James. Hello, we have Legends, fellas. We've got Legends Vector Prime. Look at this. Is this a repaint? This feels like not a Vector Prime toy. Da -da 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 -da. It's kind of cool, actually, apart from the uh, visible head. Sort of scattershotty, jet fiery, X wingy. I don't know. Pretty nice is the point. We've got a uh, first movie Legends Cliff Jumper. Hey! <laughs> Legends Cybertron Optimus and the uh, Classics Hot Spot. A repaint. Nice. That's a very niche bit. Some kind of super deformed frenzy. These are um, heroes of Cybertron, aren't they? We've got Frenzy, uh, Cheeky Shockwave. That's kind of nice. They're very of their time, aren't they? It reminds me of like Invader Zim. Megatron. Oh boy. I'm not usually super into these guys, but I've always got time for a Megatron. Movie style Optimus. How long did they make these things for? They're probably still coming out now. Skywarp giving it the old razzle dazzle. Movie Rampage in toy accurate yellow. Rat Chant. God, these are like the most opposite poses possible. Like, it's completely normal boy, thumbs up. And Skywalk just so extra. Ooh. <laughs> Legends Cybertron Megatron. I love Cybertron Megatron so much, but I hate saying it. Cybertron Megatron. Like, I hate the way it sounds. You're just saying Tron too much. Some kind of scourge repaint. Um, I want to say this is Classics Trypticon, or is it Hunger? I know they repainted this as a couple of them. This was the only dragony one they had for a little while, so they just slapped all the... Uh, they probably did a Grimlock of it as well. Raise a claw. Yes, this is the uh, Legends Leo Prime. I think I've got something of it. Yeah, check it out. This is a, a repaint of Leo Prime as Predacon Razor Claw. This was such a weird period, wasn't it? Like they hadn't really gone hard on the full G1 redo yet. So they were just scratching around like, what can we do? What have we got? What can we force into a G1 character? And it kind of worked for a bit. But in the end, I think we all saw the Prime Wars trilogy coming, didn't we? And we did need it. If only to put a stop to this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
more. This is um, Cybertron Legends Thundercracker, but repainted as uh, Silver Bolt? It looks like Silver Bolt or... Um, Probably just Air Raid, isn't it? Just all the repaints are called Air Raid. Probably Silver Bolt though, right? Oh dear. Oh God. It's Mudflap. What are you doing, mate? He's having a hard skank. There we, there we go. All right. No, I prefer him like that. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Movie Mudflap trying to be a big man in the pit. Uh, oh, this is the um, Crash Combiner. It's Optimus Prime and Strong Arm. I think they just called it Prime Strong. That whole like name concatenation thing just did not work, did it? Prime Strong. It's, it's, it's just a little bit wrong. Bumblebee. He has found a dog poo and he's determined to convince the others he's not picking it up. What is that face? That boy ain't right, I'll tell you what. And this guy. Whomst am this? Some kind of Sentai robot man. 98 Bandai. I don't know, somebody's gotta know, but not me. He's got an arm waggle. That's the shittest gimmick I've ever seen. <laughs> Tugging off a stranger in the morning, morning. Alrighty, cheers, James. That's a nice little pile of whatnots. Like I say, I'm very partial to this era of the uh, Legends repaints because they were a thing I very pointedly ignored at the time, but I still ended up getting like the Menasaur and like the Red Alert and that Starscream. I still ended up with a bunch of them. But you've done all right here. You've managed to miss all the ones I already had. Nice job. Nice one, James. Big love. Right then, Jiffy Bag. This has come from Victoria, BC. That's Canada, isn't it? Derek. Derek from Canada. Ooh, hello. <gasps> Mate! <laughs> To Few! Hey Few, it's Derek again, longtime fan of the show. Your Beast Hunters Soundwave review pretty much got me back into collecting again. Beast Hunters Soundwave? I haven't done that one. I'm sending you a couple animated figures this time as I don't really want them anymore. P.S. The knockoff minicons I sent can still turn into a Star Saber. Was that those purple ones? The purple little jet guys? It's gotta be. I hope the videos keep coming and wish you luck in the future. Thank you. So Derek has sent us, if you can believe it, animated oil slick. I can never remember how this works. He had this barrel thing. Did he have two of these or was it just the one? I always associate um, oil slick. This is dumb, but on the day I got him, I also bought the DVD of <laughs> Eight Legged Freaks with David Arquette. Do you remember that? It was, it was quite a fun little film. Just a dumb monster movie about spiders. Yeah, it turns out monster movies are quite a big part of my life. Fancy that. God, he's so cool, this one. Where's his head at? Can we say coolest ever non-character toy? Can we say that? Or he was in the show, but like for one second. But he's extremely good, this one. I have missed him quite a lot. Nice one, Derek. Uh... Extraordinary. And additionally, we have, I can't believe these have made it. Flippin' animated Rhettgar. Yeah! <laughs> I think that's all my animated guys back now. Apart from like maybe Blur and Safeguard, I don't know. But there he is, it's Flippin' Retgar, the ultimate shell former. That is appalling, but I love him a lot. Oh man, such specific memories of this. I did review this back in the day and it was the first video that was in widescreen. Chekgar, Retgar. Because a bunch of people got together and bought me a nice webcam. Can you believe that? I'd be nothing without you lot. I really would, I've, I'd have got nowhere. Isn't that weird? It's kind of nice though, right? But anyway, thank you, Derek. Frickin' Retgar and Oil Slick. Two of the nicest and weirdly most easily forgettable toys from Animated. I'm gonna call him Derek Gar. All right, last one for now. This has come from, oh, another one from Canada. Ontario, Canada, from Ethan. It feels pretty heavy for what it is. So it's either gonna be full of chocolate again or uh, Heroes of Cybertron again. Either way, wildly acceptable. Uh, okay, straight to it. I don't think there's any paperwork in here. A gun. Oh, 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 that's familiar. I smell darker the moon laser beak. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Flippin' Extendar! Extendro? This has gotta be from uh, Motu Classics. Ooh, oh dear. That's not a good start. Does he just, is that his new thing? Does he just come to bits? Come on, mate, how does this work? Is there a button somewhere that I'm missing? I don't know how this works. Does it even extend? It's got to. You can't have an Extendo that doesn't extend. Uh, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this one. Da, 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 da. Nice green bubble wrap. And yes, there he is. Flippin' Dotama Laserbeak. Bloody ugly vulture corpse of a thing thing, isn't it? Ugh, I can't decide if I like this figure. A part of me loves you, but best flipping weapon of all time.
time this was, if I remember correctly. One of these plugs into the other one, and it's sickeningly badass, and I can't remember how it works. There it is, look at this! Just the most disgustingly hardcore thing of all time. Stick that in anyone's hand, they instantly become ultimate badass. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about laser beak, because the old mode's kind of nothing, it's like a, like a drone, like a prototype drone. Very strange, but very welcome. Oh my god, speaking of animated, here it comes baby! Flipping Shockwave, he's back! Yeah, this was an interesting figure at the time. Kind of important, I guess, like in the pantheon of weird gimmicks. There's not a lot of figures that transform from one robot into another robot. Punch counterpunch, him, reverse convoy. Oh, that might be interesting to get into this thing, because I bought this back in the day with the express purpose of reviewing it, and then just never did. So it might be fun to finally do that. I don't know, but it's bloody good to see him again. He's rather yellowed in spots. Bit of a curry flavor on the go up here. There's gotta be a way to fix that. Just give him a good old rub. Hey, look at this. Got a bit of a theme on the go. Neutral colored guys who stretch out into lankier guys. <laughs> This is weird. This is super weird. Oh, this is weird as. All right. I was just thinking the other day when I got the uh, Studio Series Optimus, I was just thinking how far we've come with Voyager Optimus Primes. And for the briefest moment, I had a big pang of like missing this particular figure. Cause I had him at the time and uh, he got, you know, subsumed by the Revenge of the Fallen leader guy. And I was like, oh, I don't need this no more. So for this thing to resurface, just like days after I thought about it for the first time in an actual decade, this is deeply weird. All right, give me a second with this. Ooh, this is spooky. This isn't just a mood. This thing is bringing back like individual meals. Ethan Wright, how did you know, man? Are you like inside my brain? Were we the same person all along? Are you my Tyler Durden? Are you just three thews in a trench coat? Oh, there he is. Clumsy old dickhead. Very far from perfect. I keep saying this, but it's extremely of its time. Like this kind of personifies the struggle of applying Cybertron era technology to the live action movie designs. So awkward and chunky. And look at this backpack. But deeply disarming and totally lovable. I almost remember this more from leaflets than I do from having the actual figure. Ugh. Get out of my head. <laughs> All right, a couple more thingies. Oh, we got Chop Saw, you! This is the repaint of Brimstone. The sort of Merlot flavor of Brimstone. Memories of Half-Life and flavors of Doritos they don't make anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this. This would be the um, Beast Hunter Abominus, isn't it? Oh, it's Blot! Cheeky Beast Hunter style Blot, check him out. But uh, this was the one they redid into Infernicus, wasn't it? Very awkward little combiner set. Not terrible, but just not great. I shall uh, sit and figure those out in a bit. Creo Starscream. Meh, Megatron. And one more thing in the green wrap. Who dis? Oh. Oh my. <laughs> It's a little, um, is this loyal subjects? A little super deformed Blitzwing? <laughs> this whole ass little um, alt mode backpack. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I love Blitzwing so much. It's so nice to see him in this kind of style because I don't have any of the loyal subjects. I've seen him around, like uh, you see the, the Dinobots around all the time in like Forbidden Planet and that, and the Constructicon ones. But I wasn't aware there was a Blitzwing. And that, my friend, is adorable. One adorable. Oh, and here's his um, little tech spec. The other Decepticons don't care much for Blitzwing. That's not my head cannon. In my, in my head, they're all mates. Couple more bits. I'm assuming these are related to Extendo. That is not Transformers. This is pure Eternia. Bunch of little chunks here. I feel like these are gonna be Extendo's like extra limb bits. That's kind of lame. You gotta plug them in. I mean, all right, you gotta do it, right? You gotta make it work somehow. But like the whole fun of Extendar in the first place was it was just him and you go, <laughs> and it works. Now I gotta take him apart and reassemble him. That's no fun. Uh, by which I of course mean, thank you very much. That's that's what I mean to say. All right, Ethan, what a weird selection. Little Loyal Subjects Blitzwing, Dark of the Moon Laserbeak, Beast Hunter Abominus, Chopsaw Shockwave, Creo Starscream, why not? And my long forgotten and kind of sort of weirdly beloved first movie Voyager Optimus. It's just kind of weird to see it again now when I was just thinking about him. Maybe it's not just me, maybe everyone's thinking about him because of the studio one and how far we've come and all that. But it's just bizarre that I'd forgotten this toy existed until literally the other day. And now here he is. I don't mind, but it's weird. All right, so cheers to Ethan for this one, James for the little box of treat guys, to uh, Matthew Dacus for the big box 
box of uh, sweeties and robots and collection photos and whatnot. Uh, Derek for oil slick and wreck girl. And uh, Jeff Solo toys for those ridiculous Star Wars things. So nice one, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back very soon with further reviews and stuff. But crucially, I think the message I'd like you to take away from this is that you simply must, under any circumstances, no matter what, stay sexy. <laughs> All right, another one in the bag. So huge appreciations this week to longtime supporter Paul Heal. Oh, you've done so much for me. So big love to you, mate. See you later. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe for more Thu's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.